Alpha-lipoic acid can be great for some people, but harmful for others if not used correctly, and we'll cover that later in the video. It's a potent mitochondrial antioxidant, and although our body can make it, we rely on vegetables such as spinach, broccoli, peas and carrots, as well as some meats, to top up our levels. For people who have health issues such as diabetes that disrupts the balance between oxidants and antioxidants, alpha-lipoic acid supplements may be a tool to restore that balance. For example, diabetics often suffer from painful nerve damage where the oxidants have gotten out of hand and are causing havoc to the nerves. Some people may elect to use alpha-lipoic acid to reduce this oxidant stress and improve their symptoms. This is based on studies such as this one in 2006, which is a randomized controlled trial of 181 diabetic patients, where compared to a placebo, alpha-lipoic acid improved nerve pain symptoms, and a dose of 600 milligrams appeared to provide the optimum risk-to-benefit ratio. There's also a similar suggestion that alpha-lipoic acid can possibly improve the eyesight for diabetics, and may offer a very small decrease in blood sugar levels, as well as a possible small weight loss effect. For patients with metabolic syndrome, alpha-lipoic acid may slightly reduce the markers of inflammation and oxidation, although separate studies have shown no effect. For patients who have genetic issues with their mitochondria, the guidelines suggest that it's not unreasonable to trial alpha-lipoic acid, although the evidence here is weak. It may improve sperm health for patients who have issues, and it's also being studied for multiple sclerosis patients, but for dementia and memory, there appears to be no benefit as per this two-year randomized controlled trial. Overall, it's possible that if alpha-lipoic acid is taken to restore the balance between oxidants and antioxidants, there may be some small benefits. But for already healthy people who don't have diabetes and are fit, who already have a balance between oxidants and antioxidants, could alpha-lipoic acid supplements disrupt that balance and cause harm? Well, possibly. We have evidence from Cochrane that antioxidant supplements such as beta-carotene, vitamin E, and even vitamin A seem to increase death rates. And in mice studies, alpha-lipoic acid has been shown to shorten lifespan, so let's explore a bit more about this balance between oxidants and antioxidants. So about 20 years ago, we used to think that all oxidants were bad, that we should do everything in our power to reduce this oxidant stress. But experiments to increase our antioxidant defenses have not extended longevity, and as a result, our understanding has changed. There's accumulating evidence suggesting that oxidants, they trigger survival signals. For example, when we exercise, we release all sorts of oxidants, and that's a good thing. It signals to our cells that they need to become more efficient. And taking antioxidant supplements can therefore blunt the positive effects of exercise. For healthy people then, we don't want to take supplements that can potentially disrupt the balance between oxidants and antioxidants. And in alpha-lipoic acids case, we simply don't have the long-term studies necessary to make any firm conclusions as to whether healthy people should be supplementing with alpha-lipoic acid. But regardless, alpha-lipoic acid is found extensively in our foods, so even if you were considering supplements, I think it's a far better option to focus on a great diet, so less supplements and more emphasis on diet. After all that, if you do choose to buy alpha-lipoic acid supplements, make sure to buy the R version because it's far more effectively absorbed, particularly if you take it on an empty stomach. And make sure to check out the next video here on the supplements that I personally take. And if you want early access to these videos, check out the pinned comment where you can find a link to my Patreon.